Hey! Comments are coming in at an alarming rate. However, negative ones seem to be more prominent. A criminal group with unknown goals that does whatever it wants in the name of justice. Huh. Damn. A criminal group. It's probably because of Akechi. TV's got some crazy sway. He's free to deny our actions, but being cursed by his influence is another thing entirely. Uh, just when we were starting to get people to believe in us, too. That's fine. We just hit another target. We just hit another target. All we gotta do is take down another hotshot, yeah? Yeah. Well, do you have any ideas who this next hotshot could be? I ain't got a thing yet. <sighs> Damn it. This is really irritating. By the way, what's up with that luggage? Hmm. Oh, I decided to leave the school dorms. Oh, he found a new place to stay? You are not only filthy, but too noisy as well. No true art could come from such a place. Where is he gonna stay? What are you gonna do then? You can't go back to that shack, right? I was planning on staying at Takamaki-san's. I mean, aunt's house. Wait, huh? <laughs> she was just gonna let you? I've even prepared a thank you gift. I hope it's to your parents' liking. <laughs> Whoa, Yusuke! What? There's no way that's gonna happen. Impossible. <laughs> You're the impossible one. Why would you think she would just let you go, dude? But I spent everything I had on these delectable Japanese sweets. Are you serious, bro? That's not the issue here. <laughs> he just assumed. <laughs> Seriously, though, what are we gonna do about him? Yo, that'd be cool if we could room up with him. What about a manga cafe? What about Ryuji's place? It's way too small. Plus, my folks had never agreed to it. Damn. Well, seeing as Yusuke is an important member of our team, I'll lend a hand. What can Morgana do? Come stay at our place. It's dirty, but at least you'll have somewhere to sleep. Why are you the one calling the shots? <laughs> For real. He's been calling the shots since day one, fam. Don't you two live in a cafe? I've been wondering about that for a while. You right. Yonken's not too far, is it? Nope. And the cafe's only a minute walk from the station. How about we go there now? We can have a party to celebrate Madarame's change of heart. Oh shit, y'all really want to do this now? Oh, good idea. We can make it a welcome party for Yusuke too. It's decided. We still haven't decided where this dude's sleeping. Sorry to cause you trouble. By the way, I prefer sleeping on a futon. Oh, so he'll sleep on the floor. <laughs> It'll be up to you to convince the chief. Wow, you got a roommate, fam. Whoa, what the hell was that? Did you hear that? Somebody was yelling. I guess we'll never find out what happened. What a nice smell. This place looks so outdated. I can't say I hate it, though. People refer to that as retro. Retro. Yeah, I love the retro feel. Mm. Who are they? Hello. A girl, too? What you trying to say, Shojito? This guy has really helped us a lot lately. <laughs> I bet you're the ones doing all the helping. No, really, he's been great. Huh. Sit down. This round will be on the house. Nice. You're helping, though. What? <laughs> wow. It's delicious. Delish. Hmm. Indeed. There's great depth to its acidity. Oh, yeah. I remember now. I think I've seen LeBlanc mentioned in a magazine before. Acidity. <laughs> that was a long time ago. For real? Oh, oh give me a taste. Yeah. <laughs> he went back to drinking tea, I think. <laughs> ah, it's so bitter. Oh, this has got to be cruel and unusual punishment. I didn't drink coffee when I was a kid, either. 
These are your friends, yeah? Go on and take them up to your room. No need to stay down here. Ooh, I want to see. It's only an attic. <laughs> oh, man. Ah, that bitter taste just won't leave my mouth. Thank you very much for the drink. Up these stairs. Oh, and uh, thanks for the soda. Ooh, the soda? I thought it looked like tea. So you're a... Uh... On. On to Kamaki. Anchan, huh? It's a nice name. You got a boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> nope. Never have either. Hey! You gotta get up here! This place is freaking insane! So Jiro the, the pimp, man, he looking... <laughs> he looking for more assets. <laughs> Go on. Oh, right. Thank you for the coffee. Sheesh. They had to leave the Mona bag down here. Oh, she bent over too. Oh, no. Hmm. Sweet girl. So, Jito, <laughs> I'm telling you, that man's a pimp on the side. What do you think of this room? I don't know where to begin. Hey, fam. I just started pimping it up. It seems quite ordinary to me. For real? Oh! See? A ain't this crazy? It's cleaner than I thought it would be. What?! <laughs> well, sit wherever you'd like. We're all over the news. I'm glad I got that TV, man. Even those who previously believed in us have been influenced by the comments made on TV. Damn, that sucks. This is all that effing Akechi's fault! Keep it down. We don't want anyone hearing us. At this rate, we're just going to worry everyone instead of give them courage. We need to find a way to make our rightfulness known to society. It's time we think about our next move. You were planning on discussing that today, right? Yes. First, we need to search for a candidate. It's not like we're just gonna stumble upon some important target, though. Happened last time. You guys don't know anyone, do you? I don't. Me neither. <sighs> what do you think, leader? Well, what about Mishima's sight? I've been looking. There hasn't been anything good out there lately, though. Plus, it's not like anyone ever talks about the big targets on there. You're right. Damn it. Never gonna prove a catch you wrong at this rate. The... This dude's stomach. <laughs> Sorry. I haven't eaten anything since yesterday. <laughs> and you spent all your money on that box of sweets? <laughs> Dude, how much did you have? Anyway, we'll just have to sit tight until we can find another target. So... How about that welcome party? How about Someone's the excited. <laughs> I think I found something. Isn't that a portable stove? Well, this is new music. Can't we make hot pot on it? Hot pot. That sounds great. I've heard that eating hot pot together brings people closer. No, that's just pot. Hot pot is something else. Anything with meat's fine by me. I only ask that we finish it off with porridge. Extra parsley, of course. Porridge? So, what do you say? Fine by me. Okay, hot pot it is. Hot pot it is. After Come on, some pot. let's go buy ingredients. Well, I'll need ginkgo nuts, wonton wrappers, and... We'll take care of the shopping. Could you borrow a pot from downstairs while we're out? We can split the cost later. Uh-oh, rank up with Morgana? Looks like this welcome party is going to turn out quite lively. We should go grab that pot and set up the portable stove, too. All right. <clears throat> Things are moving smoothly. Let's talk to Morgana. Mm. The Kenji guy seems pretty influential. Someday we'll make him eat those words, though. 
But let's forget about him for now and focus on having fun! No, 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 I wanted to look at the TV. Man, goddamn, he won't even let me look at the TV. Hey, where you at, Chief? I heard you're all having hot pot for dinner. Looking forward to it. Wanna join us? Do you know how busy I am? You guys go have fun. <laughs> Her name was on, right? She's a nice girl. <laughs> Why do you say that? Oh, I just had a chat with her. She said your friend doesn't have anywhere to go. Ask if I could take him in for a bit. I guess she thought it'd be too pitiful for you to ask <laughs> since you're already preloading. <laughs> anyway, I should have a big pot somewhere around here. Wow, just get your girl Anne to do it. Just get Anne to do stuff for the, the, the ax stuff for us. Curry pot. There's a huge pot of curry here. This seems to be the store specialty. Okay, I gotta look for a pot. We discussed the word going around town to keep you in the know. Today we cover F Society. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They have high appeal among young people and said to be involved in Mr. Monorami's confession. Their methods are unknown and many are voicing concern that this group may be dangerous, but it seems like a lot of people have started talking about the fantasies. It may be, it may be negative, you know, press, but hey, it's still press nonetheless. So people know we exist now. So we just need to change their mind on how they perceive us. We don't want them to perceive us negatively. We want the majority to think we're positive, you know. Pot, pot, pot. I gotta look for pot. TV, kitchen. Here we go. It's a cabinet for kitchen supplies. I wonder if there's a suitable pot in here. It's gotta be. He's still looking, that's funny. I found an old earthenware vessel. It should be big enough. Ah, you found it. It's almost time for the others to get back from their shopping trip, so I'll leave you be. I'll be down here for a while, though. Just be careful with the fire, okay? And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of our show. Oh, wow. Look who it is. After his last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. It's the high school detective, Goro Akechi. This tastes a bit bland. But I'm relieved. A lot's happened, but it seems your grades haven't dropped. Wow. <laughs> School's been going fine. I'm more worried about you, sis. Are you tired? You're probably lacking sodium. <laughs> We're gonna make you salty sometime. We're gonna make her salty, all right. She gonna get some sodium, all right, in her system. <laughs> Do I seem so? She never loses, so she doesn't have sodium, but she gonna lose, she gonna, she gonna lose soon. But hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real. Oh God, she's gonna see, she's gonna see uh, our character. She's gonna see a Kai on the screen and be like, oh, he's there. I believe they should be tried in a court of law. That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. This is... It is far from justice. This is that new generation flashback technology. It's not a flashback, but it's basically a playback of what they just said yesterday. <laughs> More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. New age flashback. Is it a crime to manipulate someone's heart? Depending on the means, yes. He's absolutely right. Even if it makes someone admit their evil deeds and helps make them pay for their crimes? Why the sudden interest? It's nothing. Do you believe that these allies of justice exist? Oh, of course not. You don't need to think about such unnecessary things. Yeah, she's getting upset. You understand what I'm trying to say, right? Study hard and go to a prestigious college. Moving up in the world is difficult as a woman. Yet you can't do much if you don't have the authority. I mean, she ain't wrong. I'll use every method necessary to make it happen. All you need to do is remain focused on what must be done now for your future's sake. Sorry. Now, 
Yes? Mm-hmm. It's fine. Oh, that case. What must be done? Justice. I thought she would be justice. Out of all people, I thought Makoto would be justice. If those Phantom Thieves are out there helping people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. What do I want to do? New Age flashback technology. <laughs> just play that shit on TV, fam. And just replay the damn voices. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I can't eat another bite. They went ham and cheese. I see nice soda. I see all kinds of just look at that. That pot empty, fam. That was delicious, Lady On. I'm sure you'll make a wonderful bride some. <sighs> Sorry. I'm gonna have to borrow the sofa. <laughs> What's wrong, Yusuke? Purrs. We haven't finished our meal. What about the porridge? Or even udon? Just leave it for next time, man. The itis. Everybody got hit by the itis. She snoring? She's asleep already? She snoring? Yeah, it'd be weird if she wasn't tired. We should let her sleep. By the way, Ryuji, how do you know On? Huh? Oh, we went to middle school together. Huh? Huh? <laughs> what was Lady On like back then? Right. Not so different from now. Once we got to high school, we ended up in different classes and stopped talking. I don't think she had many friends. I mean, she grew up overseas. Plus, there's her looks. The popular kids hate her, the quiet ones stay away. I see. So, what about you two? Us? This is a great opportunity to get to know each other better. You know every detail of my past at this point. It's only fair you tell me every detail of yours. <laughs> every detail? So you got nothing to lose, huh? All right, I'll tell you. It's just a normal story about a rotten kid, though. My dad left when I was young. Ever since then, it's just been me and my mom. I was actually trying to get a track scholarship so I could make things easier for her. In the end, I just screwed it all up. Turns out I'm a pretty bad son, huh? <laughs> Back when I was a first year, my mom got called out to school for me raising my hand at Kamoshida. Damn. All the teachers kept hounding her for what I did, but she just stayed quiet through it all. <sighs> I'll never forget the look she had on her face, though. On the way home, she, uh, she apologized to me for being a single mom and all. So that's what happened. They say at school that everyone is equal, but in reality, that's a gross oversimplification. I understand how you feel. Well, when it comes to getting labeled, nobody's got it worse than this guy. Yeah, he doesn't know about the, uh... Criminal record. Is this about his past? Now that I think about it, we never have heard the details. Uh-oh. We going back into more detail, huh? Damn brat! I'll sue! This dude is drunk as shit, too. You can tell. If you keep this up, then I'll report about the money. Is that fine with you? We put about the money. All I have to say is that you did it on your own. And it's over. But I just did as I was told. Who do you think I am? No. Hey, make this statement to the cops. This kid suddenly attacked me. Oh. Got it? That's gonna be so bad if she goes for that. No! You can't even try to say anything else. You know what'll happen to you, right? Huh? But. You fell on your own! <laughs> Shut up. You're done for. 
You're gonna learn what happens when you cross me. Excuse me, folks. We received a complaint about an argument here. Is something the matter? Oh, it's you, sir. So what happened? Explain it to the good officer. <sighs> Don't do it, women. That young man Oh my him. god. He shoved this gentleman to the ground. Wow. And this man got injured. What? It's as she says. Also, make sure you deal with this so my name isn't mentioned at all. Wow. You understand what that means, correct? Yes, sir. Hey, cop him. Damn. Understood. Not only did I try to step in and solve the problem, the victim didn't give a fuck. <laughs> Damn. That's OD. <laughs> Damn. Just listening to it pisses me off. God damn it! You got an assault on your record just for that. The woman sounds quite horrible as well. She stayed quiet this whole time. That man is just the kind of person whose heart we should steal. Who is he? And where can we find him? It was pretty dark. You can't remember, huh? Well, it was at night, and I'm sure you were in shock after getting arrested. Somebody tell me the name of this track so I can go download it. I understand all too well the pain of not being able to remember important details of your life. The victim's personal information is always kept secret. Identifying that man will prove difficult. Besides, the courts already made their ruling, didn't they? Even if we manage to give revenge, his past record won't go away. I can't stand it! This world is so messed up! The weak are left to fight for themselves while rotten adults get away with whatever they want! And those in power don't do anything to help the situation. Can't we fix this, though? Nobody would even know. We just need to show the world what true justice is. We'll make them come to their senses. You're right, Yusuke. That's gotta be what our powers are for. Sounds good to me. The flashier our missions are, the cooler we end up looking. <laughs> You've all taught me so much. What are you guys getting all excited about? She just woke up. She don't sound uh, groggy at sorry. all. Did we wake you up? Nah, not really. I've been up for a while now. Really? Still, this weird feeling came over me while I was listening to you guys. It almost feels like I've known you all forever. Do you think it's because our backgrounds are so similar? Probably. Well, it sure ain't because of anything good. Similar, huh? I'm the only one who doesn't fit in. Hmm? I don't have any past to look back on. No memories. What do you mean? We could search the whole world and we wouldn't find a bigger misfit than you. And the reason we're going to Mementos is to get your memories back, right? I'm sure your past will be just as troubled as ours. <laughs> no doubt. We'll see about that. I actually feel like I've known Morgana for a really long time, too. It's so strange. I can't really put it into words. You sent a new game plus, so... Look, I I'm helping you guys out for my own sake. Don't get me wrong. If you don't get stronger, investigating Mementos won't be anything but a pipe dream. <laughs> that sure was a quick turnaround. One second you're depressed, the next you're acting all tough. <laughs> All joking aside, let's take this seriously. We should go as far with it as we can. I want to punish those corrupt adults and give courage to people in trouble. Sounds like a plan. Only we can do that. Ha! <laughs> you can say that again! Being a member of the Phantom Thieves will surely help me grow, both as an artist and as a person. Of course. 
You're under my tutelage, after all. There's nothing we can't accomplish. Well, I hope we can keep this up. We should be all right with you as our leader. I still want me to be the leader? I am a silent protagonist most of the time. Leave it to me. Whoa, it's this late? I guess now is a good time to call it for the night. Oh, that reminds me. The owner said you're free to crash here, Yusuke. Nice. That's very kind of him. You convinced him, didn't you? You go, Miss Older Dude Charmer. <laughs> what kind of nickname is that? Hmm. I won't be able to sleep unless I take a bath. There's a bathhouse right outside, huh? There's a bathhouse nearby, so you can go there. I won't be able to join you, though. Oh, that sounds great. I want to come, too. How about you, Juan? You guys go on ahead. I should get going. Well, good night, Morgana. Is this Morgana? Good night, Akai. I need to turn back into a human soon. I can't let her get taken by someone else. <laughs> Damn, this cat's super thirsty. Oh, man. Ah, oh, huge bathtubs really are the best. On's missing out. It's a bit hot, though. Old guys like it hot for some reason. I'm sure he'll stop eventually. <laughs> he's, he's still turning it. <laughs> you know, I've been wondering for a while now. Still turning it. But what do you think about On? As a girl, I mean. Why does every single protagonist ask this question in the Persona game? He's a great teammate. Aw, oh, that's not what I meant. <laughs> Come on, can't you act a little more like a guy our age? Doesn't she at least look better than a celebrity? I'll be sure to share what you've said with Aw. <laughs> oh, please don't. Seriously? That aside, we need to hurry and find our next target. You know what? I wonder if I said the second one would I have increased our relationship. About that, though, is targeting famous people enough? Seeing people's reactions these days has been making me think twice about what we do. True. Pursuing only what's best in the short term may end up becoming fruitless for us. We need a strategy to appeal to the public. Oh? Well, what do you got in mind? Do I look like someone who could come up with such a thing? <laughs> I was an idiot for asking. I'm more like the charge commander, and Morgana's a specialist of that world. Hmm. Mm. Still. Ah, it's freaking hot! <laughs> He's still turning it. How much do you have to ask? Until you're satisfied, Gramps! I can't stand it anymore! <laughs> Anyways, let's meet up again early next week. I'll uh I'll contact everyone. <laughs> oh man, we're just turning it. Like bam. Come on, my boy. Let's talk to the cat. <sighs> I'm going to protect my sleeping beauty, no matter what it takes. <laughs> but I'm still awake. Whoa! I'm not talking about you. Wait, don't eavesdrop on me. <laughs> Can I talk? Either you guys need to get stronger or leave Lady On safety to me. If there's one path of deep creed you should remember, it's that you need to protect the ones you love. Bruh. Alright, let's talk to Yusuke. Did something happen? Aren't you gonna go to sleep? I would be fine here. I'll sleep. I sleep in my studio on occasion, so this is luxurious in comparison, really. Alright. I used to sleep on the couch for like four fucking years, so yeah. I feel you, fam. Let's see what's on TV. I just want to see what's on TV. I ain't come here for all that, Morgana. I just want to see what's on TV. Oh my god. Wow. Alright, we saved, so let's go straight to bed. Well, you need to worry about breakfast for me tomorrow. I'll be fine with some grilled fish and miso soup. Bruh. I'm just gonna go to sleep, fam. <laughs> uh oh. 
Time to go to the Velvet Room. The prisoner has returned. You're in the presence of our master. Stand up straight. I am standing up straight. The bonds that you have reeled in are quite intriguing. In other words, they all have been unfairly labeled by society and are standing up against such fates. Have you noticed? Your heart seems to inspire theirs. <laughs> Outcasts of society. In other words, you're picaresque. Deepen your bonds with them. Those will become the strength behind your rehabilitation. I look forward to it. Increase with the full arcana? Level up? I shall grant you an ability befitting of your newfound growth. Consider it a gift. Oh baby, what we getting? May you continue devoting yourself to further rehabilitation. I feel like my bond with Igor is growing deeper. Deeper. Increase your persona stock up to 10 slots. That's worth it. Done. So worth. It's worth. All right. Nice. Super stock. It's almost time. It's time. Oh. We've always been fishy. Of course not. Done. That justice stuff is eh, kinda lame. Oh. What's this? Your Sai son's younger sister, correct? What is this? Is this a medical hospital? May I talk to you for a moment? Everything looks so white. Is it about the Phantom Thieves, Akechi Khan? You're quite perceptive. I was wondering if there were any points in common between Kamoshida's and Madarame's cases. There have been victims, after all. The Phantom Thieves need to be pursued. You criticize the Phantom Thieves, yet you don't doubt their actual existence. Oh, you saw that show on TV. Common sense can get in the way at times when pursuing the truth. Many details become logical if I think on the premise that they do exist. Is this because my sister told you to do so? It was just a coincidence. Why do I get the feeling that you're enjoying this? You may be right. Huh? Phantom thieves that use calling cards and succeed in their crime? As the so-called charismatic detective, It'd be hard for me not to see them as my rival. You have such high self-esteem. So the Phantom Thieves are evil, and you are just? Compared to people who manipulate others' hearts as they see fit, I believe I'm on the side of justice. Besides, I'm only using my natural-born talents for the sake of serving the world. <laughs> Don't you think the same about yourself, too? Bruh. Oh, that's surprising. So you're just the good girl type of pushover. Oh, looks like it's starting soon. See you later. Give Sai san my regards. Why does everyone get on my case? <laughs> Somebody's about to explode. Somebody's about to explode. Hey. He's got some nice long sleeves. It's such a delight to enjoy coffee of this quality. You could stay until you find a place, you know. I can't promise that it'd be comfortable here, though. Thank you, but I'll return to the dorms. I realized something after talking with everyone last night. Perhaps it's due to my upbringing, but... I don't know anything of the world, let alone other people. Hmm. If I'm to depict people in my art, I need to learn more about them. I must interact with them more. 
Makes sense. I'll return to the dorms and start over by talking with the people closest to me. I see. Good on you for realizing that yourself. There's no need to exaggerate. May I come again sometime to enjoy your coffee? My doors are always open. How nice to show you. He's been through a lot too, from what I've heard. Are you related to him? Huh? Oh, uh, how would I describe it? We're just acquaintances, not family or anything. I may be overstepping my bounds, but why did you decide to take him in? My reason, huh? <laughs> Probably because he reminds me of my old self. That's all? It doesn't take much when someone takes consideration on someone else. Your art instructor, um, former art instructor, he must have felt something for you too, besides just stealing your talents. Truth be told, I cannot hate him from the depths of my heart either. I should probably get going. Hey, you sure about this? The painting, I mean. It'd be a waste to keep here. Damn, really? Even if I kept it at the dorms, it'd only be met with skepticism. I doubt it would want that. Adding a hint of color to an otherwise ordinary day. I'm sure my mother would have done the same. Damn, just straight up gave him the painting. That's cool. I see. I'll hold on to it for you then. Thank you for the coffee. I'll come again. Yeah, nothing but supplies in that bag. You seen that? <laughs> hey! You're finally awake. I'm hungry. That's the first thing you have to say to me? You guys sure do eat a lot. <laughs> that reminds me. I haven't seen you scare out. Maybe you already went downstairs. Finally up. You know it's past noon. That kid ended up going back to his dorms. He left this painting before he took off. Though supposedly to thank us for taking care of him. Sayuri? It's rare to see a kid acting so grateful these days. And this painting is amazing. Not only is the mother stunning, but the expression on her face. The regulars will probably freak out when they see it in here. Still, I feel like I've seen it somewhere. It's a bit different from how I remember it, though. Hey. Hey, if you're up for the day, go on and get dressed. I opened up shop hours ago, so go take the cat out somewhere. Alright, we will do, Shoji, though. Uh-oh, who set me up? Thank you again for letting me stay the night. Apologies for leaving so quietly, but your rest seemed peaceful. Uh, but your rest seemed peaceful. And after a great deal of inner struggle, I have decided to return to the dormitories. Furthermore, I have entrusted the Sayuri to your protected Shojito. That painting should no longer be <laughs> should no longer exist in reality, but it is truly what my mother painted. I am simply satisfied that we were able to obtain it. And it was all because of you guys. I cannot thank you enough. <laughs> hey, hey. So Yusuke went home, huh? Oh, well, that's for the best. Yo, I just checked out the font site. There's some kind of thread on there looking for info about burglars using the Phantom Thieves name. Sounds pretty lame to me. Oh, I saw that too. They target restaurants, right? I actually found a really interesting post on there. My brother has suddenly started acting violent towards everyone. I might end up getting killed at this rate. Whoa, I wonder if it's because he got caught up with all those weird people in Shibuya. You think he means those burglars when he's talking about them weird people? It may be too soon to assume that. The post said he started spending a bunch of money lately too. Isn't that kind of suspicious? I wonder how many burglar groups there are even or there even are in Shibuya. Yeah, things are really starting to get serious. 
look into it. I thought you'd say that. Although, how exactly will we go about investigating? We'll go to Shibuya in the middle of the night and catch them all red-handed. No way. The police would totally nab us if we were out that late. Plus, if... <laughs> plus, it, plus, it would be bad if the chief knew you were out in the middle of the night. Excuse me. Hmm, if they target restaurants... What if we drew them to LeBlanc? What? Hmm. There's no way. Who would go after a shop like this? Wouldn't that be a lot of trouble for boss? LeBlanc targeted. It seems like a viable plan to me. Let's do it. Cut it out! <laughs> You'd get kicked out of LeBlanc if we failed. <laughs> well, I suppose I left the Sayuri there as well. I had forgotten. How <laughs> How'd you forget about something that important? Either way. I don't really want more thieves to be posing as us in the future. I wish there was some way we could make an example of these ones. At the moment, our lack of info means we will just have to wait. We can continue searching for more information whenever, wherever possible though. Yeah, I'm gonna try looking in this stuff too. Alright, so I guess what we're gonna do now is save our game, take a break, and once we come back we'll be back to progress the game further. I'll see you guys soon. Let's do it.